In this video, we're gonna be connecting WooCommerce to MailChimp. This will basically add a little opt-in box to your checkout so that when someone ticks that, they can join your newsletter when they're placing their order. So let's take a look. Hello, it's Alex here from WP Eagle. Thanks for watching. So in this video, we're gonna be connecting WooCommerce to MailChimp. Uh, we're gonna use a simple plugin to do this, and it will enable us to collect the email addresses from our customers uh, when they place their orders via the checkout. It adds a nice little opt-in box, so uh, it's all compliant and that with can spam and spam laws and all that sort of stuff. Uh, it's really easy to set up, um, so let's get on the computer and get it done. Okay, so I'm over at the site that we're gonna be setting up um, with uh, MailChimp. It's a WooCommerce site, obviously, <laughs> otherwise it wouldn't work. And so what we wanna do is hook it up so that when people check out, um, they're able to opt into our newsletter, basically, and onto our MailChimp list. So in another tab, I've logged into MailChimp. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is actually create a new list. So let's go into lists, and then click uh, create list. Go away, and then create list. I'm gonna call it uh, website customers. And then obviously you need to fill in all this stuff. There we go. So uh, you may already have a list set up, uh, which is obviously fine, all that is good. Click, uh, I don't actually need that because we'll know, because there'll be an order, so that's fine. So we've got a brand new list, so that's great. That's what we're gonna put our customers into. So if I go back to the website, I'm already logged in. I'm gonna to go to the dashboard and then plugins and add new. The plugin we're gonna be using is a free plugin. I'm gonna type in here WooCommerce MailChimp. And it's this one here that comes up first. Click install now. That's just gonna install, it's done, and then we'll click activate. And that should be done. So now, if we go into WooCommerce and settings, there's a new tab over here called MailChimp. So let's have a look in there. What we need first is our MailChimp API key. So back into MailChimp, and then we need to go up here into uh, profile. And I believe uh, it's an extra, so that was a good guess. Yep, API keys. And then here is my key here. I've already created one. Um, so if you haven't got one, you need to click create a key there. I'm just gonna copy this and go back to the website and paste it in. And it's gonna do some stuff. And then it's connected, little tick, that's great. Then we select the list, which is what I just created. So website customers. And you can enable double opt-in if you want. So we can subscribe customers automatically or we can ask for permission. Now, I think ask for permission is probably the best way to do it if you wanna keep um, everything kind of above board and so the customers know what's going on. Um, but you might not want to, you might just wanna put them all in and then if they don't like it, they can always unsubscribe, can't they? Uh, but I'll leave it for ask for permission right now so we can have a look at the checkbox. And then we can decide where you want the checkbox. So let's just click Save Changes. And then if we go to the website and have a look and go through the checkout, we should see the new uh, tick box. So here's my checkout. Let's go to the checkout. That's my basket, sorry, let's go to checkout. Okay, so here we go. And if we scroll down, right down the bottom here, we've got a subscribe to our newsletter tick box, which is ticked by default, which is good. Um, so that's it, that's it, we're done. So now if anyone places an order, and obviously if they leave that ticked, they untick it, they won't, but if they leave it ticked, they will be added to our MailChimp. So that's it, easy as that. Nice quick video, hopefully um, you're all done. But if you get stuck then, uh, or you've got any questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, then please click the like button, and do subscribe for more WordPress-related stuff. Until next time, uh, bye for now.